Okay, so in this video, we're gonna cover off pool accessories. And as you can see from the table in front of me, there's a huge amount of choice and, well, there's far more than this even. So um, what I'm gonna go through is what accessories come with your table as standard when you buy a brand new table from us. And then I'll talk about um, an upgraded accessory pack that we do if you take installation from us. But then I'll also talk about other bits and pieces you might also wanna consider buying, um, all of which are available on our website. And I'll also take you through the basics of pool balls but I'm not gonna cover off everything in this video. I'm gonna do another video that's separate to this, which will cover off in more detail. So um, let's start off then by talking you through what comes with your table as standard. Okay, so let's run you through what comes in your standard pool tables. We're talking pool tables around a thousand pounds or less. And these are the accessories that come packaged in the table when it comes from the manufacturer. So first of all, we've got a standard uh, plastic triangle. Uh, you get a pack of chalk, so this is what comes from DPT with their tables. Um, you get six cubes of green chalk uh, to, to match your green cloth. In terms of cues, you'll get a pair of cues, so two cues will come with it. Seven foot size tables will come with 57 inch cues. Uh, six foot tables, sometimes manufacturers will put for the 57s with them, uh, but sometimes they'll put uh, 48 inch size cues. But being a smaller table, they're giving smaller size cues with that table, but you get to, you get two, two cues with your table. Then in terms of balls, Again, this is very much manufacturer dependent, so um, there's no single rule of thumb as to what you're going to get. Different manufacturers package different balls with different tables. So let's just take you through the different um, options. But you can see on our website, for each table, it will always show you what type of balls are coming with the table as standard, and if there are upgrades or additional sets of balls available. So first of all, let's do um, reds and yellows. So you'll get a set of standard reds and yellows come with some of the tables. You may want to upgrade those for Aramith ones. So the difference with the Aramith ones, these are made in Belgium. They're made out of a phenolic resin um, and it enables the ball to be shinier. So if you compare the two, you can actually see the difference between uh, one of the Aramith balls and one of the standard balls. These are made out of a, um, a hardened plastic. Let's go through a more rigorous testing process, process as well um, to make sure that they're more spherically accurate. They're quite rigorous with that process because these balls are used in an awful lot of tournaments. If you don't want to go for reds and yellows, then potentially there's an upgrade option for you to go for spots and stripes. So again, you've got the choice between the standard balls um, and the Aramith balls. Again, it's a personal choice. Do you, want to be a, do you want to pay the extra to go for the better quality set of balls? Some people prefer to stay with the standard ones. They don't want to spend the extra. Or potentially if you're using the table in a commercial environment, putting Aramith balls on there may well get stolen or you, know, you wouldn't want to lose one and have to replace those. So you know, a lot of pubs, for example, will just put standards, um, reds and yellows, on on their tables because the cost of replacing them uh, is cheaper. So that gives you an overview of what comes with your table as standard. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you the pack of accessories that we offer if you take out our installation service. So as standard, our English pool tables are again priced around a thousand pounds and less. They will come with free delivery only, but most customers will want them to be installed. Uh, and as an added offer on that at the moment, we're giving away some additional free accessories. And this additional free accessory pack includes a lot of the accessories that most customers want to buy to go with their table um, because they don't come with it as standard. So let me just run you through what these look like. So first thing is the queue. So the table, as I said uh, just now, comes generally with two full-size queues. But if you've got younger players, or you might have a few tight spaces, you want to get shorter queues. So we supply a 48 inch queue and uh, a much shorter 36 inch queue, which are perfect for those tight spots. Or as I say, if you've got some, some younger people playing and they don't have a great big long queue to, to play with. So those are those two queues. Um, we then uh, also supply it with a table cover. So I'm not gonna unwrap all of this, but you basically get a plastic table cover uh, with elasticated corners that you can put over the table to protect it when you're not playing on it. It's a great idea um, if it's gonna be exposed to sunlight because it can bleach the cloth. If it's prolonged, you'll find that the uh, if you go for a green, for example, it'll look a lot lighter um, over a period of time. So it's a really good idea to cover it with that. Also, it will stop dust and fluff settling on the table or potentially if you're having a bit of a party, maybe. A spillage going on the table so uh, one of these covers really I think is essential. When you're playing um, on the table you're going to find that you're going to get finger marks um, on there again dust and fluff you're going to need to have a brush to be able to brush down there so you've got the cloth as we said in one of our other videos is directional 
so the cloth goes one, one way to the other. So only brush it this way. So you brush down there and you can return the playing surface on your table to look an absolutely perfect each time you play. And then the last thing that we give you is a two-piece cue rack. So this mounts on the wall. So this one here goes uh, on the bottom and you can see where the, the little cups there are, where the bottom of the cue goes. And the top bit just clips into there. It comes with the screws to be able to screw it into the wall as well. Um, and it's a great idea to have one of these. If you don't have a cue rack, you run the risk of people leaning uh, the cue up against the wall with the, um, uh, with, with the uh, chalk on the tip and it, it can scratch down the wall and you'll end up with green coloured chalk, for example, going down your walls. Um, so I always think it's a great idea to have a cue rack, then everybody knows where they're going to put the cues, they don't just shove them back on the table, they'll always be tucked away nice and safely, not going to damage the paintwork uh, in your nice room. Okay, so I'm going to take you through all the other things you might want to consider purchasing then uh, as an extra to go with your table. Uh, I'm going to talk about table care first of all. Uh, so we looked at the covers that are available. So this was one of the covers that we do in this uh, in our free installation uh, uh, upgrade pack. Some people do prefer a black cover. Um, it's made out of a nicer plastic. It's made by a company called Peridon. Um, and it's a little bit more money, uh, but they are really nicely finished. So just if you don't really like the green, then we do sell those there on the website if you wanted to go for a black one. Uh, keeping the theme with uh, table care then. So here are the different brushes. So again, we talked about the sort of standard brush that we put into that um, a graded accessory pack. So that's one of those. It comes in nylon bristles, um, but you may want to go for um, a larger brush and this is made of horse hair, so it's less abrasive. Um, a lot of people on larger tables will use these as well just because they're longer. It's a 12 inch sized brush. Um, it's a little bit softer, as I say, um, using it on there. So again, a bit more expensive, but if you want to get something that's top grade, then you've got that. This little one here, um, this is for going underneath the cushion. So you may all find that when you're brushing, it's hard for you to get underneath the cushions. If you've got fluff sort of stuck underneath there, then that is what this is for. Um, so that you can get under there easily to be able to get any sort of dust and fluff out of there and keep underneath your cushions looking nice and neat and tidy. So those are your main sort of brush choices. The only other thing to do with a cloth is that you can get what's called a table iron. Um, and it's just like a normal iron, but it doesn't have any steam coming through it. Um, they're really quite expensive. So most customers, most home customers wouldn't want to buy one of those, but it is just something that's worth mentioning. The idea of a table iron is that you can put it across your cloth um, and it will literally flatten it down. It will make the table play a bit faster. Um, and we, we certainly use that in our commercial environments. Uh, we'll go and iron the table. Some places will do it on a daily basis, others on a weekly basis, and others if you're not very busy, um, or if you're a home customer, maybe it's on a monthly basis, you'll iron your cloth. So there's the options for you in terms of cloth care. One last thing to mention is some customers do ask whether you can get a cloth cleaner. Now those are available on the market. We don't sell them purely because I've, I've run into problems with customers purchasing them from us and actually doing more damage to their tablecloth than they started off with. Um, but you can basically get this fluid which you spray on the, on the table um, if you've got a bit of a spillage on there. But my experience is that customers have then ended up scrubbing this into the, uh, into the cloth, wrecking the weave on the, on the cloth and ended up needing to have a recover. So we don't sell those. You might want to give one a try, but really in my experience, they're not great and I wouldn't really recommend it. Okay, so let's move on to cues then. So as I mentioned just now, they come with a pair of standard cues. So these standard cues that they come with, they're made out of a wood called ramen, which is actually, it's a cheap wood and it's very light. So what the manufacturer does, is they actually put a weight in the end of the um, butt of the cue here, just to give it a bit more feel and make it feel a bit more solid. And they come with a screw tip. So literally that tip, if I can get it to undo, let's just show you one that I can undo. There we go. So that just undoes like that. So you've got a screw tip, uh, which then screws into here. And the reason for having a screw tip on there is if you damage the tip on the cue, we sell loads of these um, screw tip ones that come in like a bag, and you can just screw another tip on there. It's really easy for you to change. So again, commonly used in pubs uh, because that's where tips are gonna get damaged all the time. They'll be basically um, buying a big bag of spare tips from us so they can just re-tip the cue themselves very easily. Now, the downside of these uh, cues as a result is they obviously they're very cheaply made. Um, they don't have a natural balance and feel to them because you've got this sort of false weight at the end. Um, and that screw tip on there means that the feel of the shot when you're queuing 
doesn't feel as good as if you're buying a more expensive queue. They're really a, 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 a result of function rather than actual playability because of that screw tip on there. So what we do recommend, um, and often we've actually got a special offer running, is to upgrade those cues to a pair of ash cues. So uh, if you watched our cues video, you'll have seen in there that uh, pool cues and snooker cues are made out of ash. And here we've got um, a 57 inch size cue and a, 40, and a 48 inch size cue. Uh, and these are made out of ash, it's two piece. So if you are taking it to go and play in a club or something like that, you can split the cue and put it into a cue case. And the difference here is that um, not only has it got this brass joint in the middle here, but it's got a brass ferrule on there, just like all the professional cues come with. And it's got a glued on leather tip. And this means that the, the cue has got a natural weight in it because it's got a, a, a more heavy, dense wood used at the butt end. Um, it's got a better quality wood for the cue being made out of ash. And of course, it's got this brass ferrule and a glued on leather tip, which means when you're playing with it, it makes a massive difference. Um, you'll get a much better game off of this. You'll play a lot better. And really, I would recommend um, keeping those maybe if you're having a bit of a party or you've got some kids coming around to have a game, get these out and use it for that. But if you're looking to get real value out of the table, you spent a lot of money buying the table, I would recommend upgrading to um, a, certainly a, a much better quality of queue. And this does provide a really good um, uh, basis for that. It's a really good offer on the whirlwind queues. So just moving on from queues, obviously you can go up from the whirlwinds and you can spend an awful lot of money on queues. So we've got in our showroom here, we keep a range of over 200 queues in stock. And you can come down here, you can try any of the queues, play on any of the tables and pick one that really suits you. So prices start from about 40 pounds and go all the way up to sort of 350, uh, 400 pounds for any of the queues that we've got here. One other thing just to mention then is a rest. So a rest stick is a really good idea because it can be difficult to reach shots at the other end of the table. Uh, and what you don't want is somebody playing on there who loses their balance or sits on the table and damages the table, you know, or loses their balance and tries to strike the ball and actually end up scraping your cloth. So a rest stick is a really good idea. Um, and they come in a number of different varieties. So I've got one example here, but I'll show you another couple in a moment. So this is called a butt rest. Um, and basically you sort of cue on there and you've got a choice with the three locations where you can put the cue. So wherever you feel most comfortable for the shot you're trying to take, but certainly if you're trying to shoot through a number of different balls, you've got the choices there that you can uh, be able to use this rest uh, in a way that's comfortable to you and you can reach the shot down there that might well cost you the frame if you haven't got that rest stick so I think it's a really good idea to get a rest as well to go with it. Okay so just to show you the different choices in the uh, rest stick ends that you can get. So this is called a crosshead, and you'll notice that obviously this one here is in chrome, this one here is in brass, so you've got the choice, choose which one you prefer. And some of them come with little plastic feet on and some come with no plastic on their feet. Um, the, we've, I showed you the stick there which has got the butt rest head on there. It's just personal preference as to which you prefer, whether you prefer the crosshead or the butt style. This is called a spider and this is higher. Um, so some customers will, they'll actually buy all three just depending upon what they feel most comfortable with for a certain shot. The point of having this one is that it does get your cue higher off the ground. So if you are trying to cue above a whole pack of balls, it's easy for you to get to. You might not get the height off that type. So that's where you'd need a spider one instead. So those are your three main types. You've got the crosshead, you've got the butt, and then you've got the spider. Okay, so you need somewhere to put your cues. Um, as I mentioned earlier on, I think you definitely need somewhere to put your cues because if you don't have somewhere, you're gonna end up with them lent against the wall and damaging your plaster work and your paint or being put down on the table and potentially sort of scratching and damaging the cloth. So definitely, I think you need a cue rack. Uh, got a few options here. There are loads of different things that we do in terms of cue racks, but these are the most popular ones. Two types to choose from really. You've got wall mounted and then freestanding. So wall mounted, first of all, this is the one that I showed you earlier on that comes in the bonus accessory pack if you take out installation from us. Uh, and that's where the one that there goes at the bottom, goes against the wall there. You slot your cue in so it goes on the bottom there, clip the top up there. And there you go. This is an example of one of the ones that we um, sell to go with our Montfort Lewis luxury tables. And these are, can be finished in the same um, type of paint. So if you've had a, paint, a high lacquered paint finish, this is obviously a high gloss black. You can get a matching cue rack or if you go for oak or a beach, whatever stain you have, they'll actually make that rack in a matching finish for you. So again, same sort of drill. That one goes to the bottom, that goes at the top. 
um, and you can slot your Q rack, your, your cues through there. The benefit of having a wall mounted rack is the fact that it doesn't take up any floor space. It's always in one place, you pop it up on the wall, you're not have anybody tripping over it, it's up on the wall and it's out of the way. But some people don't like to be drilling on the wall, they don't want it up against the wall, or they might want to just be able to move it about, and that's where a freestanding rack comes in. These are our three most popular ones. This is um, the chrome one that we do, this is the one in brushed steel, and this is in brushed steel and black. So those are the three different ones there. They each hold uh, six cues, same as the wall mounted ones, same sort of cue capacity. So enough room to maybe get two shorter cues, two full size cues in there, and maybe a couple of uh, rest sticks, for example, you might want to put in there as well. So good amount of capacity in all of these. And then the final one to sort of show you is our sort of novelty one, which is the eight ball cue rack. And this is really actually very popular indeed. Um, we got this one here in black, which has got the eight ball on it, but we do also do it in other colors. So on the website, you'll be able to see that it's in red, white, we do silver as well. Um, and this has got a greater capacity uh, in terms of how many cues it'll hold. This will actually hold nine uh, in there as well. So if you've got a whole stack of cues, maybe you've got a big family, everybody's got their own personal cue, plus you've got maybe three rests to go in there as well, and a couple of guest cues then the 8-ball cue rack is a really good idea in terms of being able to hold those. Some manufacturers actually make specific cue racks to go with their tables and actually give them with them free. So for example, we're looking at the P40 here, this is where we've got all our cue racks on, um, and Etrusco actually make a matching cue rack to go with the table, it's beautifully done. So again, same wood, this is made in cherry, they'll do a matching cue rack to go with it as well, and that's included in the price. So again, always look at the listings, it'll always tell you whether there's a manufacturer-specific cue rack available, and if there's an additional charge, how much it's gonna be. Okay, so moving neatly on from cues, let's talk about chalk. So I showed you earlier on uh, the standard chalk that comes with the table for the manufacturer. Um, some players will be quite happy with that, that'll do the trick for them. But others will prefer to get a higher quality chalk and we sell all sorts of different. So I'm just gonna just show you just a couple here. So Pioneer is a very popular brand. Uh, we do those in a number of different colors, sort of red, blue, green, uh, the most popular ones. Um, so they're available. Triangle is really popular. A lot of uh, tournament snooker players will be using Triangle Chalk. Uh, we sell an awful lot, it's probably our most popular brand of chalk. Certainly green Triangle sells more than anything else. Um, if you've got a uh, a, an unusual coloured cloth. There's a company called Silver Cup that make loads of different colours of chalk and, and I'm really pleased that they still do it. They're the only company that make lots of different colours of chalk. So if you've got a pink cloth, we've got pink chalk. If you've got an orange cloth, uh, we've got orange chalk. Um, and we do all sorts. So if you're buying like a French Navy, for example, we've got the matching chalk to go with it and really, it's essential that you always buy the matching chalk, otherwise if you're using blue chalk on a green cloth, you're gonna end up with lots of little bits of blue spots all over it. Really always make sure that you buy the corresponding color chalk to go with the cloth color that you're using. So moving along, we are on to triangles now, or triangles and diamonds in fact. So. Um, all the tables we sell will always come with a triangle of some sort, so you're never going to find yourself um, needing to buy a triangle, so you'll always get a triangle. So there's an example of a plastic triangle that comes supplied with your table. Uh, now you may well want to buy something else to go with your table, um, like a diamond. So you, if you're going to be playing nine ball pool, then you'll be using a diamond potentially. You don't have to get one of these, to be honest. They are quite popular, but you can still rack um, a diamond of nine ball balls into your standard triangle quite comfortably. You'll actually see in tournaments, they will still use a standard triangle. They don't use a diamond to be able to rack them in, but some people prefer to have a diamond rack, in which case you can get the diamonds there. Um, a nice option is to go for a wooden triangle. So these, um, obviously a bit more expensive to, to purchase, but you can get a wooden triangle. Some manufacturers actually do package a wooden triangle with the more luxury tables. Um, uh, some of them you can get with, uh, with like a nice brass trim on there. So really it's just personal choice. What do you want it to look like? It's quite nice if you have got a luxury table to have a nice quality uh, triangle to go with it. We sell those as extras and some manufacturers actually do offer an upgrade. So you might get a standard plastic triangle uh, with it for zero cost, but if you wanted to, you could pay a bit extra and get a matching finished um, wooden triangle or painted triangle to go with the table if you wanted. So again, it depends upon the individual table that you're looking at. Have a look on the listings. It will always show you on our website what comes with it as standard and if there is an upgrade option available to you.
different choices are huge here. So these are uh, balls to go onto an English pool table, so two inch in size. These are the standard size, uh, the, the standard ones. So reds and yellows, blues and yellows, spots and stripes. Aramith, which as I mentioned earlier, these are the tournament grade balls. So again, reds and yellows, blues and yellows, spots and stripes. And then you go up, up to the tournament pro uh, set here, which is what's currently being used in the uh, pool world championships. The IPA tour uses these as well. Then we've got American balls. I've only got one set sat on here because I've got loads of other sets sat on tables. I'm gonna take you through those in just one second, uh, but that's a standard set of American uh, pool balls. And then we've got snooker balls. So we've got standard and Aramith. These are both in two inch size. So if you're buying an English pool table and you fancy a game of snooker, I think it's a really good idea to get two games from one table. It's a really popular additional purchase from customers is to buy a set of snooker balls to go with it. So we do either, again, the standard ones or we can do the Aramith ones and those will match in terms of quality the Aramith balls that you can buy in pool. So if you're buying Aramith balls to go with your table in pool, I would always recommend going for Aramith in the snooker balls. And then we also do snooker uh, balls for a snooker table. So these are two and one sixteenth of an inch in size. And we do these in the standard um, Aramith sort. And then we do these also in the Tournament Pro edition here. And you can always tell those because it's always got the blue and the gold on the boxes of the ones which are the tournament grade balls. So we sell absolutely a huge range of different pool and snooker balls. Um, whatever you want, it will be on our website and we've got them all down in the showroom here. So if you want to try them out and see what the differences are, you can pop down and come and have a look. So I'm just going to take you through the different sorts of American pool balls now um, that we've got on our different tables. So let's just take you through the different American balls that we do. So we've got here, we've got a set of Aramith balls. So these are the standard Aramith uh, green box balls, they um, are spots and stripes uh, and they come with a standard cue ball. This is actually a TV set so the difference here is that rather than having purple uh, you end up with pink versions here just because it shows up better uh, on the TV and then it also comes with the spotted cue ball again looks good on TV so you can see the spin on the cue ball as a player is taking his shot you can sort of see the backspin side spin on there looks good on the telly. Uh, this is a set of Brunswick balls uh, and you can tell these are Brunswick ones because it's got the little dart on there. So that's what they come with and those balls are only available in the Centennial set that comes with the uh, Centennial accessory package with a Brunswick table. That's the only way that we sell these and customers really do like the little darts on there. So that's something that's quite special to Brunswick. And then finally, this is a set of Cyclops balls. So again, these are designed uh, to be used um, on the TV. But again, they're quite different. The blues that they use, you kind of got this very light kind of aqua blue um, that they use there. You've got purples, which you just don't find anywhere else. So th they do look quite different on there. And the Cyclops balls, um, just the cube has this little uh, dot on there. So um, those uh, we supply with diamond tables. This is a diamond table that I'm just sort of demoing these on. Um, and they come, the Cyclops balls come with those. It's a new manufacturer using a lot of tournaments actually now in China. Um, and they're really quite popular. They do look great, quite different to the Aramith ones that we were looking over there. Okay, so just to polish off a bit about balls, excuse the pun, uh, is polish. So uh, Aramith do two different types of cleaner. Uh, so first we got ball cleaner. This is designed for balls that have got really dirty. You've been playing with them for ages um, and they've probably got quite grimy uh, and this will take that off. So they actually do a matching cloth to go with this as well that you can use with that particular cleaner. And then for just uh, polishing them, uh, you've then got their ball restorer, which if they're only sort of lightly sort of a bit dirty, you've got a bit of fingerprints on there, a little bit of chalk maybe on the cue ball, you might want to use this one just to give them a sort of a, a polish. Again, they do do a matching cloth to go with this one. Okay, so let's move on to lighting next. I think lighting is absolutely essential for getting a decent game of pool. Uh, and it might not be something you've always thought about until your pool table's arrived, you've installed it, you come to play in the evening and find that actually it's not that well lit at all. It depends what you've got in your room that you're gonna be putting it. You may well find that you've got some inset sort of spotlights in the ceiling and they're beaming down and they're on the table and by chance, you've got a perfectly lit playing surface. But more often than not, people find that whilst their sort of central bulb that hangs from the ceiling is okay for sort of general illumination of their room, 
it's definitely not enough to be able to play a decent game of pool on it or cast shadows over the table and not give you uh, an effectively lit playing surface in which to have a decent game. So um, we've got loads of different lighting options available on the website, available in Chrome, uh, but with uh, or brass and with different coloured shades, so sort of matching chrome or brass um, shades, or we do red, blue, green. Uh, we do some black ones. There's loads of stuff on there. So have a look through the website. There's a whole page dedicated to pool table lighting. We also do a number of professional grade lights, which actually is lighting this table here that I'm talking to. So I'll take this one through in a moment. This is actually one of the diamond lights, and it's got um, a patented design which. Uh, causes the uh, shadow, to, the, the, well, there to be no shadow dropping on your table. So it's a bit difficult for you to see. We'll do some close-ups in a moment. You'll be able to sort of see what it's like. But basically, you sort of see my hands there, and there's no shadow appearing on the balls on the table. Very, very clever design. We also do a number of really nicely designed ones from Sam as well. They do some fantastic uh, models which match some of their pool tables. So again, if you're looking at a Sam pool table, we do do some matching lights for that. So if you need some help and advice on the lighting side of things, you're not too sure what you need or the heights to place them at, then our advisors will be able to help you with that. So let's just take you through a little bit closer, some more information on this diamond shade that I'm standing by here. Okay, so let's just try and show you a bit closer up what makes this particular light special. And it's actually, if John, if you can get up into there, you can see that you've got this uh, chrome finished grill here and it's a patented design that actually diffuses the light so that it goes all over the table. And that's what stops you getting any shadow. So as you're leaning over the table, you literally, it's perfectly lit. There's no shadows being cast over it at all. You can see that there's actually a tube sort of going throughout the length of the light there. And this diffuser goes throughout the length of the table, casting a beautiful light all over the whole table. So it's all perfectly, perfectly illuminated. Okay, so this has turned into a bit of an epic video. If you've managed to make it all this way through, well done for sticking with us. Um, we've covered off loads and loads of stuff. There is still things we haven't talked about. There's things like snooker scoreboards. I've got a rather large one here. This is a four player one. There's quite a few different designs that we've got on the website, so you can have a, have a look at those. There's also things like pool trolleys. Um, there's three or four different models that we sell. Again, those are on the website. Um, and if you need some advice as to what sort of trolley you need, you can speak to us and we'll talk you through the various benefits of, of each different type. But hopefully this has given you a bit of an idea of the various different accessories that you might like to buy to go with your pool table to be able to make the most of it. With anything, if you need some more advice, you can pop down here. We've got loads and loads of accessories all in stock here so we can show you through everything or of course our sales team can help you out over the phone.